Yeah, it must have been the quake. Quake? Yeah, we were tossed around by one. Must have slammed you against the bulkhead and knocked you out. Uh, maybe. I don't remember anything about it. Well, what's the difference? You're okay now, aren't you? Sure, sure. Good. Come on with me. I gotta find his skipper. The Admiral thinks he might be in the secretary room. Skipper? Why did he get back aboard? I'll pull you on the way. Come on. Uh, what in blazes was that? That wasn't a quake. That felt more like someone horsing around the CBU controls. We better find a skipper. <laughs> I don't know, so it seems though someone had taken them over for a moment. They seem to be operating all right now. All right, if the torpedoes open away out of the cloud, move the throw it at flank speed. Huh? All right, sir. Missile room of the torpedoes ready for firing. Warheads are primed, sir. Torpedoes ready to be loaded. But I could use a hand to get them home in the tube, sir. All right, Miranda. Have to ready to fire in five minutes. All right, sir. said he wants you to report to the control room right away. Did he say why? No, sir. Just that it was urgent. All right. You two men come with me. We're going to the missile room. But sir, the Admiral said he wanted you to go to the control room. I said to the missile room, sir. following the Admiral's orders. He wants these torpedoes loaded. The lead. Sir? I said belay it. We're not going to fire those torpedoes. Are you countermanding my orders? That's right. The torpedoes are not going to be fired. Well, we'll discuss this later. You join Mr. Morton in the control room. There's nothing to discuss. I've made a decision. Torpedoes will not be fired. Chief, place the captain under arrest, escorted to his quarters. Yes, sir. If you will come with me, sir. If you will go with me to your quarters, sir, I'm sure we can. Us. 